his options for other women. Okay, but when a man builds a woman, the opposite happens. Okay, so if he set the bar so high, right, we're providing for you, spoiling you, uh, taking you on vacations, you know, just being your full provider and protector. If a woman did a man like that wrong, the chances of her finding another man like that is slim to none. I agree, because you ain't just talking about an average man. You're talking about a sugar daddy, because providing has nothing to do with taking a woman on vacation and spoiling her. <laughs> now, that's why there's no risk involved when a man builds a woman. Mm -hmm. When he invests in a woman, when he spoils a woman, there's no risk in doing that because you set the bar so high that if another man will try to come in and replace you, he will fail at it. Again, I think she's talking about sugar daddies because... If a man gets divorced, he typically loses half his crap. That's an investment where he went down. He lost half. Return on investment. The best example is Chris Brown and Karuche. Chris Brown invested in Karuche. Karuche built a career. She's a model. All right? Karuche leaves Chris Brown, goes and she's with some lower value dude. Chris Brown is a high value dude. And the reason why I say he's high value is because I don't know no man that can charge a thousand dollars for women to take pictures with him. Chris Brown has a negative return on investment when it comes to Karuche. Most men go into relationships as an asset because women are looking to take from said man, which makes them liabilities. Okay. What can you do for me is the question most women ask. Men answer that question. That's why we gather wealth so we can turn around and give it to a woman. So investing in a woman typically leads to a negative ROI. Money gives men access to women that they would have never been able to pull had they been broke. No, money only gives men access to the type of women that pretend to be wives when they really escorts. Thank you. Rick Ross, look at the women he was able to pull. Rod Wave, look at his baby mama. You think if he was broke and had no money, you think he'll be able to pull a woman like that? Yes, because he's an artist and very gifted. And then on top of that, he's got a lot of experience. He's got a lot of wisdom. And he's got something called game and charisma. You know, things that women also like. Look at Chris Rock. Kevin Hart. He's short. Look at his wife. Look at the woman he's able to pull. Right? Wow. It ain't because they look good. It ain't because they tall, handsome, and fine. It could be because Kevin Hart is one of the funniest men on the planet. You know, women also like to laugh, but this Jezebel, she's a Jezebel, is implying that short men do not deserve quality women. She said, look at Kevin Hart, he's short. So that means he can't get a quality woman? I guarantee you the woman at the bottom with her overweight self believes that she deserves a quality man, she can help how much she weighs. Right? It's the money that gives them access to those type of women. So true. Who Jay-Z married to. It wasn't his looks that pulled Beyonce. Mm. Okay? Jay-Z also cheated on Beyonce, so it wasn't Beyonce's looks that kept him faithful. Look at Biggie Smalls when he was alive and he had poor Faith Evans. Baby, back then in the 80s and 90s, Faith Evans was beautiful. She was that girl. Yeah, look how he was able to pull her. It wasn't his looks, okay? Even though you may laugh and be like, yeah, they, they ain't fine, they, but these are 1% men, so right, who are rich. Look at Country Wayne. This man has 10 kids. Mm. And women was in the comment section when he did an interview talking about, that's the type of man I need. Wow. This man got 10 kids. Those women also aren't genuine. Okay? Answer this question. Would you like to have a group of friends that only hang out with you when you spending money on them, taking them out on vacation, and going to expensive restaurants? Or would you like to have a friend that will take their $5, put it with your $5, and buy a $10 snack and share it? 
a friend that genuinely likes you for you, which one would you rather have? Because what this Jezebel doesn't understand is she's explaining the tragic reality that men have to deal with. But because he has money, money. a lot of women don't care about a man's past. They don't care that he created a whole bunch of broken homes. They care about his future. No, they care about his money. Right? But see, men, they care about a woman's past. That's why you don't give your prime years and your wound up to Pookie and Ray Ray. And I can go a step further. How about you not give your prime years and your womb to nobody that ain't putting a ring on it? How about you go into a relationship a virgin and don't leave that relationship without a marriage? How about that? That way, because here we go. She just basically said that don't build a man. They're going to leave you when they, when they get their money, right? Well, check this out. If you're a virgin... You go into your marriage, okay? Let's say that man builds himself. He gets his money. If he leaves you, men lose half of everything when they divorce a woman. Alimony, child support payments. So he's not the best version of himself if he divorces. You see how you get your, to have your cake and eat it too? But y'all can't use that strategy because you're too busy being Jezebel's. Thank you. Who can't provide for you and love you. When you build a man, just know that you are increasing his market value right. in the dating world. Thank you. And the opposite has happened with you because, see, the chances of a man running into a woman who got her life together, her own money, her own car, her own crib, her own motion, is a lot higher than a woman running into a man who's doing better than her. That's Cap. Because nine times out of ten, that car and that house ain't yours. You borrowing that. You in debt. Student loan debt. Women are the biggest holders of debt in society. So it may look like you're doing better than him driving around a BMW that you $40,000 in debt for while he's driving around a Toyota that he owns. <laughs> Okay, it may look like you're doing better than him, but when you talk about that debt that you're holding, baby girl, you ain't got nothing. The probability, I'm not talking about exceptions to the rules. There's always an exception to the rule, but the probability of you running into a man doing better than you is rare. No, it's not rare. Fellas, this woman is projecting. It's obvious all she deals with is pookies, ray rays, and thugs. She can't even see a proper man. Proper men aren't running around in BMWs that they can't afford. Men are not as likely to take on debts that they can't afford. But women want to live their life so bad. You want to live your best life so bad that y'all willing to go on vacations you can't afford, buy cars and houses that you can't afford. So it looks like you're doing better. But when you get around a proper man, you may see him driving that Honda that he owns and thinks that he's broke, sweetheart. When really his money is tied up in investments that he's collecting passive income on. While your Pookie and Ray Ray out there is flashing on with Jordans and all kind of other stuff. And they broke as hell. And then you get in a relationship with him thinking that you're helping him out, building him up. When really all he's doing is stacking your cash and his cash. And then getting out of the relationship when he got his bag together because he doesn't want to deal with a Jezebel that has uncorrected personality traits. Okay, so in the chances of a man running into a woman who's doing better than him is higher. He has a better chance finding a good woman. That's true. Being in debt don't make you a good woman. Just because you have a house and a car, that don't make you a good woman. Being a good woman is being loyal, chaste, modest, feminine, friendly, fit, Okay. That's what makes you a good woman. Everything else just makes you an adult. <laughs> For you men who get in the comments and say, I want a loyal woman who, who was with me through my struggle days. And my question to you is, why are you looking for love while you're struggling? That's number one. No so are you implying that we do not deserve to be loved simply because we don't have a mountain of a bank account? Okay, sweetheart. Let's flip that around on you. Why are you looking for love when you ain't got a virginity to offer? 
I don't have a million dollars to offer and you don't have a virginity to offer. Now, I wasn't born with a million dollars, but you was born with your virginity. So somehow you lost something that I find valuable. Don't like it when it's flipped around like that, do you? Yeah, you better be quiet. Number two, y'all know what happened when y'all make it? Y'all choose the woman who was at the finish line the entire time. You leave the woman who invested in you, who took care of you, who fed you, yes. who loved you when you had nothing. You leave her behind. Not and you choose the woman who was at the finish line the entire time. No, sweetheart. It's because we was F boys with a Jezebel like you. And the woman at the finish line is also a Jezebel that look better than you do. See, this woman has a lot of makeup on. Okay, she's still just a six with all that makeup and that filter that's struggling to hold that six. All right. So the man that got with you was like, I ain't really got nothing, but, you know, she helping me out. So, yeah, let me stack bread, use her bread. And then when I get on, let me go level up with a better looking Jezebel. <laughs> it goes back to what I said when she said that men shouldn't date it. They shouldn't be looking for love if they struggling. It goes back to what I said. Who would you rather be friends with? The person that only wants you for the, for the money and the vacations or the person that's willing to take what little they got, mix it with what little you have and make it work. Talk to me. So that's why I tell women, don't build no man. No way. Because pick me's never get picked. So They're always overlooked. So, so women, you gotta ask yourself, are you gonna be the woman out of his league or are you gonna be the dream girl? Those are <laughs> the Jezebel call. Pick me's never get picked. Baby girl, get out of your dreamland. Jump out of behind the wall of lies. A pick me gonna always be picked. I promise you that. Why? Because pick me's typically have great personality traits. Pick me's typically are loyal. All right. And they also tend to be cute. The problem is pick me's are never online complaining. Have you noticed that? There's no pick me's that go online talking about, I regret being a pick me. He actually left in the end. None of it. We just get these Jezebels. Stop it. Get some help. Two different type of women. Let me know in the comments. Come on, let me know. Are you a dream girl? <laughs> Most men will never reach their prime years no because your prime is when you got money. Thank you. Because that's his currency in the dating world. Oh, if he ain't got no money, he's not valuable in the dating world. No way. First of all, your prime is when you acquire enough wisdom, knowledge, and you can become an adequate leader. When you be when you hit the pinnacle of being a proper man, then you are in your prime. By her logic, Chief Keith. NBA young boy, NLE chopper, and all these little rappers and, and NBA stars are men in their quote-unquote prime. But they got baby mamas literally everywhere. They're creating problems in society. Okay? So don't let Jezebel talk fool you out of believing what your actual value is as a man, fellas. Okay? A woman's currency is her beauty. Yes. So Wrong. A woman's currency is being a proper woman. See, let me explain the value of a woman. Fit, feminine, friendly, chaste, modest, loyal. And then we talk about how cute she is. Being able to follow a man's program is invaluable. I guarantee you the six that follows the man's program has his kids that are biologically his, that's loyal, is always going to outdo the 10 that won't do none of that. Don't get it twisted. Yes, the 10 can get the digging stick, but that don't necessarily mean nothing. It goes back to that Beyonce you quoted earlier. Her looks couldn't keep Jay-Z loyal because she ain't got the traits of the six. Most men would never experience those type of options in his lifetime the way a woman will. That's because those options aren't real options. They're just a bunch of people looking to leech. That's not options. So yeah, they hit the wall too. There was a study done on a man who was 35 years old and he went on a dating app and he had only two women that was interested in him. Mm. Then it was the same, a woman who was 35 years old, multiple kids, mm. and she had multiple matches. Mm. Men you see how the Jezebels get caught up in that snare? She's valuing 
quantity over quality. Not to mention, if it was only two people, then that's not a study. That's an experiment. But we're going to play devil's advocate. This is how to get caught up. They think just because a lot of people are willing to go after the wounded gazelle versus the healthy gazelle, they think the wounded gazelle has more value. No, it's easier to F-boy a single mother. She's more desperate. <laughs> That's what happened to her. This is projection. This is why they going online and talking amongst each other because they've been through it. Remember when I said that women get worse as they get older? This is where that comes from. This is the logic that they gain. <laughs> Who wanted to date her? Wow. Yeah, so when they try to tell you women at 35, we're washed up, we're leftovers, I'm yeah. telling you, they hit a wall too. Mm. If you ain't got the money, <laughs> these young girls are not trying to date you wow. because they love you. They want providers and protectors. So if you stingy with your money, Hey. If you're not trying to spend on her, okay. you're not going to have options like that. So, <laughs> That's just cap. That's all cap. You see how she's trying to get big eyes? If you stingy with your money, you ain't going to have options like that. <laughs> Man, listen, fellas, I'm here to tell you the good news. I am 39 years old. I have never had an issue getting 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I'm talking about all spectrums, all races. Do not believe the BS. Okay, I haven't told y'all no lies yet. I'm not telling you no lies now. Just come with some game, work on yourself. There will be options, even at this age. <laughs> and women cannot stand it. I swear to God, they cannot stand it. See, when a man is leading with his looks, he's leading from a feminine place. Thank you. And when a what? Okay, so a man leading with his looks is a feminine place. So... That's just basic attraction, sweetheart. That's just genuine attraction. Being attracted to the way somebody looks is genuine. Now, I know people say, oh, that's shallow. No, it's only shallow if that's all you're attracted to. But you don't know people, so the way they look is what draws you in. She's looking for any reason to try to crap on dudes. What are we supposed to lead with our wallet? We can't lead with the way we look? Why not? I want to be handsome. I ain't had a haircut in a minute, but let me groom up. Let me put on some nice clothes. That's leading with the way. That's not feminine energy. How is that feminine? Oh, my goodness. The Jezebel. Listen to him. A woman is leading with her money mm. and her accomplishments and her degrees. She's leading from a masculine place. So it's now, I agree with that. It's all backwards. Mm. Mm -mm, your currency so is your beauty as a woman. Prioritize beauty and fitness. Yeah, you need to have your own money. Yeah, you need to have your own motion. Because if you give somebody the power to feed you, you give them the power to starve you. And we ain't doing that. This is women giving other women bad advice terribly. She just told women that their only value is in how they look. Baby girl, that's the only thing that this woman has to offer. And trust me when I say she ain't really got that to offer. She got, again, she's like a 6 out of 10 average at best. And that's with a filter and makeup. So when you take off the filter and you take off the makeup, no one of these pookies left her making a video on TikTok. Thank you. But you ain't getting no money and, and, and building no man with it. No way. That's what you're not going to do with your money. You're going to get no your no money and life. you're going to take yourself on trips and love on yourself. Thank you. And he's going to have to meet you at that level or he got to find somebody he's going to have to date down. Proving every point I just said. When they get their money, they don't pay off those debts. They don't put it into an investment. They go take themselves on a trip and get themselves all these experiences running up their hedonic treadmill. Okay? Most men prefer women that do not have a lot of experience so that when we provide those experiences, it, it, it allows for a deeper connection with the woman. <laughs> But this old Jezebel is trying to give young women terrible advice. Both of these women are old Jezebels, and they're trying to give young women terrible advice, making them believe that when they do get a little bit of money, just go on that vacation. No, save your money, and when you find an adequate man, a proper man, you can use that money to help push both of y'all dreams together. Then y'all can both go on vacation. It, it feels better going on vacation with somebody you love. It really does versus going on vacation and 
doing things you're ashamed of. That's why it rhymed. Period. Period. So y'all let me know in the comments. Look. Are you the dream girl? Look. Or are you the woman out of his league? Thank you. Thank let me know. You. Come on, let me know. <laughs> Neither one of these women are a dream girl or a woman out of their league. <laughs> If you, if this, if either one of these Jezebels is out of your league, my guy, you doing bad. You need to get in the gym. You need to stop eating all them dang Cheetos and go just work at McDonald's and they ain't out of your league. Trust me. In fact, while we BSing, listen, there are some Latinas at the McDonald's looking real good. Is all I'm saying. And they really nice too. One of them gave me some extra fries just because she said I was so polite. So... Man, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this video, man. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like the damn video. Jump in the comments below and be sure to check out this video right here to see why this father kicked out his 14-year-old daughter for getting pregnant twice. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm going to holler at y'all next time.